الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله The Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم said in a hadith of Abu Huraira reported by Abu Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه That the Messenger وسلم, said, He who does not acquire knowledge with the sole intention of seeking the pleasure of Allah, but for worldly gain will not smell the fragrance of Jannah on the day of resurrection. Ruahu Abu Dawood. In this hadith of the Messenger of Allah, وسلم, it shows us the importance of having uh, that ikhlas, that sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when seeking knowledge. And that the seekers of knowledge, as we know from other hadith, that the Salaf used to say that the Talib al-Ilm, Talib al-Jannah, the seeker of knowledge is the seeker of paradise. That, that That's how they defined the Talib al-Ilm. Because it was about sincerity, it was about how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and the ilm wa thiqwa basira, and insight. It was about practicing the religion. It wasn't about gaining knowledge to have a position or status to be able to refute someone or any other various, the various reasons that people take for seeking knowledge or fame or to marry lots of women to gain wealth and material gain. As the Messenger وسلم, said, the one who does that will not smell paradise. So what shows us a habit of Allah, it doesn't mean that you can't seek knowledge to be an imam in order to spread good. And, and, and that those other things are negative to get a degree in, in, in Sharia or whatever. No, that absolutely, those are fantastic things. But that should not be the sole purpose. The sole purpose should be to lift the ignorance from yourself, to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the various and the various benefits that come with that, like seeking the, the you know, to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala based on knowledge and to be able to call people based on knowledge and to be able to call people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and those things can only happen by ilm sahih ilm kitabi wa sun knowledge that sound knowledge and knowledge of the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that also shows us that that's really what our call should be you know to sound Islamic knowledge and sound Islamic knowledge is coming from the book and the sunnah this is why as we mentioned, uh, Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al Wadi, who mentioned in the contemporary times, anyway, Imam uh, Muqbil, he mentioned, Da'u ta ahl sunnah, da'u tun, min kitabi la ila kitabi la, wa min sunnati rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, ila sunnati rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. So he mentioned that the da'wah of ahl sunnah, because it's a knowledge based da'wah. That it's a da'wah from the book to the book, meaning the book of Allah to the book of Allah. And the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ila sunnata, ila sunnati rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's from the sunnah to the sunnah. So it's not based on other, uh, other goals, but rather it's based on that simple call. And... It is done with sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because it's the only way you could call to that origin. You, you can't call to the book and the sunnah sincerely and practicing it without it being the, uh, without sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That this is uh, done as a means to get to Jannah. And the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says, Whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the path of paradise. Again, that's the the path to paradise, and all of that requires sincerity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also is pleased and that's a sign of his pleasure with someone that they're doing the right thing they're doing they're going the right direction the right path by seeking Islamic knowledge if Allah increases their Islamic knowledge Allah 
loves those people who have ilm in practice, that ilm. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, مَنْ يَرَدَ اللَّهُ بِهِ خَيْرًا يَفَقَّهُ فِي الدِّينِ Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him fiqh. He gives him an understanding of the religion. So that fiqh fi deen, again, only comes with ikhlas, true, true fiqh fi deen. I'm not talking about just someone who memorized or someone who, who Allah has favored, but then they forsake it. But rather, we're talking about the one who's actualizing and practicing and gaining that knowledge. That's what we want to strive for. And we want to be careful about being the ones of the worldly gain. And we mentioned also the other the hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he mentioned about those three who will be in paradise. Qala sallallahu alaihi wasallam, inna the Prophet ﷺ, he mentioned the three, he mentioned the first person that will be judged in paradise will be the one who was martyred. And he'll be brought before Allah. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will mention that this person lied, that they, they said they did it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's sake, but rather they did it so that the people would say they were brave and so on and so forth. And they got their reward in this dunya because the people said they were brave. They made videos about them. They loved them. They praised them. And that was their reward. But in the hell, but they'll be dragged in the hellfire for that. So they were dragged in the hellfire for doing one of the highest deeds in Islam. Likewise, the second one, the Prophet ﷺ mentioned, that the one وَرَجُلُ uh, تَعَلَمَ الْعِلْمِ And the man who, who studied knowledge. وَقَرَى الْقُرْآنِ And he read or recited and learned the Qur'an. And again, he'll be brought before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and asked, what did you do for my sake? And he will say, you know, I, I learned the Qur'an and taught it. And I, you know, uh, learned religious knowledge. And... You know, I, you know, and taught it. I was a, you know, an alim. And rather, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will expose this person that they did it just for that position, just to be called an alim, just to be called a beautiful reciter. And it was said about them. So it was said about them. So again, this, this goes to the shahid of the hadith. And the purpose of mention in this hadith is that showing that you want to seek knowledge for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It should be a means to bring you closer to Allah azza wa jal. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas وثبات على السنة and bless us with علم النافي ورزق طيب وعمل متقبل وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم